Hi everybody, it's Lisa, Twyla's mom, and today we are going to do my Aldi shopping share. And every week I get on here, I show you what I got at Aldi's, if I go to Aldi's that week, and I tell you the prices so that hopefully um, you can kind of comparison shop through me if you haven't been to your Aldi's lately, and if you're lucky enough to have one. This week, my husband went with me, and we spent $40.67. And we got the majority of our groceries at the Aldi's this week. Um, we didn't need a whole lot this week, but we did need some things. So the first thing we got is way down here. The cat was needing some new cat, more cat litter. So I just pick up the big jug of it the scoopable cat litter from Aldi's and it is $4.79 for 14 pounds. Typically this will last her, because I only have the one cat, uh, about two and a half weeks, something like that. Yeah. So she does pretty good, but she has two cat boxes. She has one in our utility room and one upstairs, um, but she very seldom uses the one upstairs. So going right along, we needed more sugar, and we haven't picked up sugar for so long, and it has really went up in price. It went up to two thirteen. Ah, last time I bought sugar, I know Scott's bought sugar since before now, but the last time I personally picked up sugar, it was still under two dollars. It's been a long time, but it's a four pound, four bat pound container. For two thirteen, don't even know how much Walmart is to tell you if it's a good buy or not. We just needed it, and I picked it up there. Then I always like to keep some of the Brookdale beef stew on hand because we like this with some rice. We just cook a little bit of rice and then top it with the beef stew. Kind of helps stretch it a little bit. And um, these are only a dollar sixty nine for a one pound four ounce can a lot cheaper than uh, the Dinty Moore and I think it tastes just as much just as good and you, you get plenty of meat in it and everything like that now the great value I think is I think it's only like a dollar ninety nine at Walmart but don't quote me on that I'm not sure okay we needed uh, some more milk and I only buy a um, what is it, a half gallon <laughs> or it will go bad before we get it drank um, and at all these it's $1.64 then let's see needed some more ketchup and this is a pretty good size thing of ketchup for $1.69 and we like the Berman's um, ketchup mustard dressing things like that and that's their brand Berman's and you get, it's a 38 ounce container, it's big, and it is $1.69. So that's not a bad price for ketchup. I picked up a can of carrots to stick in the pantry because I opened our last can a while back, 65 cents. Then we got some steak fries because tomorrow is game day. You know, the Chiefs, we've got to have our special lunch while we watch the Chiefs. And I was going to make spaghetti, but I found onion rolls, onion hamburger rolls, which we really like at the Dollar Tree yesterday. So we changed the menu and we're having hamburgers instead. <laughs> so I picked up some steak fries. This is Scott's best favorite kind of um, french fries. If he had a choice to make, he would choose these. And french fries are only $1.65 at Aldi's. And then for me, I I would prefer the crinkle cut or the shoestring, a, you know, a smaller cut in french fry. And these are also $1.65. And they are 32 ounces, 2 pounds. Then for the hamburger patties, we did get those at Aldi's. And you get four hamburger patties. They're $1.35 a pound. They're the 80 20s. 
and they were $4.98. Goodbye, Twyla. Have a good day at work. She's on her way to work. So I picked these up for game day tomorrow. And then I ate the last bit of broccoli, so I picked up a steamed winter blend, which is broccoli and cauliflower mix for $1.09. Uh, we are down to one more package of paper towels, and the, these are the Choose Your Size, and they say Compare to Sparkle. It's the Boulder Classic, and these are only $1.99, so really it's a dollar a roll, and compared to the Dollar Tree brand, these are much better quality, much better, and you also get to choose your size. So, and even the bounty that you can buy at the Dollar Tree, I think these are much better quality. They really, really are. I picked up a four pack. They had four packs of yogurt. I was really shocked, but they did. See, special things like this at Aldi's you can't always get. They just happen to get a shipment of them in, and next week they may not get them, and they may never get them again. So I went ahead and took advantage of some a four pack of strawberry yogurt. It was how much was it? A dollar forty nine. Now a little, just one individual container of um, yogurt. If I remember right, it's forty nine cents or thirty nine cents. Anyway. It probably would have been cheaper for me to just go a bit get the individual ones, but this was more convenient. Yeah, so that's what I did. <laughs> then I splurged. I love Hostess Ding Dongs, and you would have thought Hostess would have lowered their prices when they went out of business, and then somebody come along and bailed them out, and they opened the doors again and started making their their treats for everybody but their prices didn't go down but anyway these are 289 yeah all these does not carry these on a day-to-day -day basis like i said they just got a shipment and there you go and they're the same price that you would pay at walmart dollar general you don't get no budget at all these for a name brand Unless for some reason nobody bought them and they did put them on clearance. Then you might get them a little bit cheaper. But typically a name brand at Aldi's is the same price that you would pay anywhere else. It's their brand of the food that is, you know, cheaper. For instance, this is their brand of Life Cereal. It's Original Balance Multigrain Cereal. It tastes just like Life. I love that cereal, <laughs> but it is only $1.99 at Aldi's. You get the 13 ounce. This isn't the great big family size. This is just the normal size box of cereal. And um, I'm thinking Life cereal is $2.89, three something. Yeah, it's been a long time since I bought the original Life cereal because when Aldi started carrying their brand, that's the kind I got. <laughs> and speaking of name brands, they did have the Idahoan um, potatoes, and these were 99 cents at Aldi. You get a four and a half cup servings. You know, we don't eat much of this, and we just have it for that one meal, and that's it. So we only need one bag. Now, Let's see. Dollar Tree covers it. Of course, I saved a penny, but pennies, pennies add up. And um, Walmart carries it. I want to say theirs is about the same price, too, because it is name brand. Then, let's see, we're going to have some brats sometime this week. So I just picked up the um, hot dog buns from there. Hot dog buns, just normal bread is cheaper at Aldi than anywhere else. This is only 89 cents for your hot dog buns at Aldi. Dollar Tree, you're paying a dollar, but if you gotta have Wonder Bread or any other name brand bread, then that's where you should go. Walmart, uh, the great value kind is over a dollar. 
Um, eggs are only 58 cents, so I picked up another dozen of eggs because I'm going to bake a cake and we are also going to have some breakfast skillet sometime this week. Then for the big splurge, and I didn't realize this went up a dollar, one whole dollar in the past month. I will probably never get this again until it goes back down in price, but it's our favorite kind of bread. It's the Bjorsch loaf, and it is so good, but it sadly has went up in price. It now costs $3.85. I didn't realize it was that expensive until I started to write down my prices for you guys. So, yeah, expensive. And then I've got one more thing I thought. Hmm. No, I don't. No, I don't. But yeah, that not too bad for forty dollars. We got the majority of our groceries bought at Aldi's this week. But like I said, we didn't need a whole lot this week. Um, so if you guys have an Aldi's near you, I suggest you go in. Just just go in, and if you need milk, just run in and get milk. Browse around the store, get used to it and everything, and see if you think you're willing to try it. Now you do have to have a quarter if you want a shopping cart because that is their way of not having to pay someone to go out and gather them all up in the parking lot. Which, you know, makes total sense to me. Unless you can't get the stupid things to pull apart. I never can. My husband had to get mine apart. And then a couple of weeks ago I had to go in and get the kid at the register to come in and pull them apart. But, oh well. <laughs> so I'm going to get off of here guys and put my stuff away because my french fries are starting to get kind of sweaty yeah don't forget to subscribe give a thumbs up and leave me a comment you know I love to hear from each and every one of you and I will talk to you guys later bye